So part C, find the x-coordinates of all points of inflection for the graph of f. Give a reason for your answer. So points of inflection, points of inflection happen, happen when we go from concave upwards, concave upwards to downwards to downwards, downwards, or vice versa, or vice versa. So this is true if and only if f prime prime of x goes from, goes from positive, positive, to negative, negative, or vice versa, or vice versa versa. So where do we see f prime prime of x going from positive to negative? Well that's going to be true. That's going to be true if and only if f prime of x goes from being increasing to decreasing or vice versa. f prime goes from increasing, increasing to decreasing, decreasing, or vice versa. I'm using a lot of vice versa here. So now let's, and I wanted to think of it in terms of f prime because we have the graph of f prime. So f prime goes from increasing to decreasing or vice versa, or we could go from decreasing to increasing. Well, let's think about it. Let's see, over here f prime is, f prime is decreasing, 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 and then it increases. So we have a point of inflection right over here, right when f prime of x is zero. So, and that's because f prime is differentiable, so the derivative is definitely, it's, the derivative is zero right at that point of inflection right over here. So if that happens at x equals negative one. And over here, f, then f prime starts increasing, but then it, right at x equals one, then it starts decreasing. So at x equals one, we have another point of inflection. And that's where we have that zero, that the, the zero, a, a tangent line would slope zero. And then we're decreasing, 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 increasing. All right, so this is going to be another point of inflection. X equals three. So these are our three points, points of inflection. So this happens, so this happens, happens at X equals negative one, X equals one, and X equals three. So these three points in, on, on our graph of f prime, where we see f prime goes from decreasing to increasing, or increasing to decreasing, or decreasing to increasing. All right, all right. Now, well, I'll, I'll do the last part of the next video.